Hi, my name is Melissa Alves, but a lot of my friends call me Melly. I'm 17 years old, 5 foot 4, and born in Newark, New Jersey. But who exactly am I? Well, if you ask me, I'd probably tell you how much I love music, movies, and traveling. When I was 13 years old, I self-taught myself how to play guitar, and ever since then, I haven't been able to put it down. Now, I usually find myself locked in my room for hours playing my favorite 21 Pilots or Weezer songs. This also led me to start learning ukulele and piano. One of my favorite things to do is go to concerts. Music has always been a big part of my life, and to be able to see my favorite bands and artists perform in person is just the most incredible thing to me. My love for film and television has also made me quite the least person sometimes. Like, I really love my bed, and I probably spend way too much of my time binge watching YouTuber Rick and Morty on it. And then there's school. Oh yes, we all know how much everyone loves school. Regardless, it's a very important part of my life and usually takes up a lot of my time. But I try not to let it stress me out and look at the positive sides of it. I love superheroes, food, and trying new things. I love the beach, but at the same time I'm in love with the city. I love taking too many pictures and I love to travel. But do all of these parts of my life completely answer who I am? These are my parents, my mom, Tanya, and my dad, Sergio. Besides my sister, they are the single two most important people in my life. And this is the other most important person in my life, my sister, Sabrina. She's not only my sister, but my best friend, and has definitely been the most influential person in shaping who I am today. My friends are also very important to me. They are the people who make me laugh my hardest and lift me up when I'm down, and I wouldn't be the same person I am today without them. My name's Lissandra, and I've been Melissa's friend and neighbor for over 10 years now. Melissa is a unique human being, I'll tell you that. Melissa Alves is my best friend. As cheesy as this may sound, my life would be like really different without her. And we've been friends since I'm pretty sure kindergarten now. Melissa is someone who's always down to try new things. She likes to like go exploring and adventuring and it makes her a lot of fun. Um, also, she loves music, especially the Fratellis, great band. She likes music a lot. So she's always listening to music and like trying to find new bands that she likes and she loves concerts and stuff. Um, if I were to describe her in three words, she has the best hair. She's so pretty. She's very, she's so smart. That girl's so smart. It's very smart. Book smart. She's so personable and outgoing. Like she like can make so many friends like so easily. It, it comes easy to her. And she really cares about people. She's one of the most caring people that I know. She cares about me because no one else does. <laughs> it's definitely her more serious side is her, you know, care for people. My favorite memory with Melissa is when we went down to Wildwood together for vacation and stayed up all night just riding our bikes down the shore. One summer, her parents left her and her sister with my family for about a month. At first, her sister wasn't there for a couple days, so it was only Melissa and I, and I remember it being really awkward at first. But then we started fooling around and being stupid together and we started getting really close. By the time that her sister Sabrina had gotten there, I had felt closer to Melissa than I'd ever felt with Sabrina and she's my age. She's great. She's a good friend. She's so like chill. She'll like just go through something and like she's just so chill. She's a very funny girl. Very outgoing I'd say. We could like hang out and like do whatever we want or you know just do whatever and she wouldn't care like what we do. It was really that summer that solidified our friendship just watching shows together and playing video games. We grew even closer throughout the years that I don't even see her as much of a friend anymore. I see her as more of a sister. And if I didn't meet her then like I wouldn't have had like such great memories with her like she's like so sweet and like awesome. And I know she'll keep being her silly wild self as we stay close for the rest of our lives. And other than that she's just a big goofball. So. Yeah that's Melissa. So really, when it comes down to it, I guess you could say I am me. There's no one way or word to describe it. I am those who I love and the things that I love, and that's what makes me unique. I love to laugh and just be with the people that I care about the most. This is me. Dear Mom and Dad, I'm really sorry I couldn't be strong enough for you guys. I know you are hurt and frustrated, and I wish I had something better to say than I love you but I don't. I just couldn't stand to live carrying around this pain any longer. I've been bullied, tormented, and stuff on my entire life, and I still can't believe not a single person noticed just how miserable I was when my whole world felt like it was crumbling around me. Everyone just treats each other like garbage until it's too late and we're forced to do things like this. This world is cruel. People are cruel. And I think it's about time I give them what they want and leave this place behind for good. Please don't think this is in any way your fault. It's not. Maybe if just a single person had showed as much love and compassion as you guys did, I'd still be alive. 
I can't wait until I see you guys again. I love you. Love, CC. There is a lack of color here. Please don't worry, lover. It's really birth. Well, 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 look at what the cat dragged in. What's wrong with the city? Not swank enough for you two flappers? Actually, it was amazing. There was singing and dancing, and the best was something called the hooch. We even ran into this nice fella, the owner of the club. Maloney, how do you two have the audacity to come back here with your spiffy outfits and your bob? Do you know what your father would say? But mother! No, your place is to stay here and work, not to run off and drink hooch and get all spiffy all day. But mother, it was so amazing. The fellas were so amusing. You have to come with us. Either you two stay here or you will never return. Your father would have never put up with this and either will I. Don't do this to mother. She has loved and cared for you ever since father has passed. You must leave the city behind in those swank outfits. We have to go back. I have never felt so alive as I did in that club. The fellas treated us so well, giving us hooch. But if we leave, mother and sister will be so disappointed. We'll never be able to return. Well, if you want to stay, stay. But I'm going. I'm tired of shoveling goat crap. What are your feelings towards Zach's girlfriend? Um, Claire? Yeah, what are your feelings towards her? Well, I mean, I guess you could say I like her. As a friend, of course. Because that would be wrong. I mean, I find her kind, smart, compassionate, beautiful. So it seems you liked her as more than a friend. No, 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 not at all. Can we please change the subject? It's making me really uncomfortable and my head is starting to hurt. All right. Did things ever boil over? Was there ever a major fight between you and Zach? Well, I mean, I guess there was this one time. Why are you following me? What's your problem? I'm sick of you. You know what? I see right through you. What are you talking about? It's obvious. You're in love with Claire. Take it back. No, like, you only spend time with me because you want to get close with her. You know what? I'm starting to think I don't need you. Suspect 3321 is in my sight. So we're going to apprehend him now. You're one of Zach's friends, correct? Yeah. Did you ever see a change in the relationship between Zach and Jasper at all? I mean, there was a bit of a falling out, but um, you know that was just because Jasper was all over uh, Zach's girl. I think her name was Claire. Yeah, it was weird. And did it seem like Jasper was jealous with your relationship with Zach? I mean, Jasper did seem like he got kind of annoyed with us sometimes when we showed affection. But not all that much, no. He ain't defeat though. That's what I thought. Now, do you remember Jasper from any of your classes at all? Jasper? I've heard the name before, wasn't he? Who's was that he? weird kid? Yeah, the weird kid. He yeah. was just We just sit in the back of class. Just Yeah. Won't say nothing. <laughs> what were you <laughs> I miss him so much? <laughs> And were you involved in any of those altercations? I mean, we really never did anything like too serious. Just to, you know, shove them around a little bit, you know, didn't kill the kid. 